What's going on guys? It's Bryce here back with another video and today I'm making another making money with sports cards video. Today it's going to be a little bit of a different format. We got 2019 Topps Heritage High Number and 2020 Topps Heritage. These two boxes are going to battle it out. Whichever box has the top five most valuable cards, I'm going to take five cards from each box. We're going to calculate the total value of those five cards and whichever one has the most value wins. In 2019, Topps Heritage High Number, we're looking for rookies like Fernando Tatis, uh, Vlad Jr., Pete Alonso, Eloy Jimenez, people like that. In Topps 2020, we're looking for rookies like Gavin Lux, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette. So let's just hop into it. We're going to start with the 2019 and then we're going to go to the 2020. Okay, so we got 2019, Topps Heritage High Number. I expect this one to be the more valuable one just because there's better rookies. But you never know, so let's just crack this box open and let's get going. So both these boxes are about $20 on eBay, so they're around the same price. And this box here, this first one, has eight packs per box. So good number of packs, looking nice. Let's start opening these and hopefully we can get some nice pulls. Go first pack. Let's see what we can get. I'll just show you what the first card looks like. Got a nice little Adam Wainwright. Just like a nice vintage base design. Looks pretty nice. I'm not going to show you every card. I'm just going to be going through kind of fast, showing you the good ones. So let's just keep going. Okay, our first rookie is Thomas Panero. I don't really know who he is. Blue Jays rookie. Wrong Blue Jays rookie. But there we go. Got a Nate Lowe, Tampa Bay Rays rookie. Michael Chavez, rookie for the Red Sox, not bad. Also, there could be some short prints in here. I don't really know exactly what the short prints are, so I might have to look that up after. Okay, here we go. We got a nice rookie performers of Brendan Rodgers. That's good. Ooh, another rookie here. Travis Berger, I think that is how you say it. Got a lot of rookies in this pack. And another one, Nick Anderson for the Marlins. And that's it for that pack. The Jake Cave for the Minnesota Twins. Adam Jones, I like him. He's one of my favorite players all time. I think he might be retired now. Um, let's see, anybody else in this one? Hey, there we go, that's nice. Got a Pete Alonzo rookie. Okay, well the video cut off, but we got our first like big name player, Bryce Harper, right there. Not a bad pull, not a big fan of his, but first big name player. Hey, another nice one right here, we got a Christian Yelich. Not too much value though, because it's just a base card, but... Oh wait a second, this is a cloth card. Oh wow, that's actually not bad at all. It's like a cloth texture. Christian Yelich, I, that's one of the players you definitely want to get for that, so I'll take that for sure. Huh, let's see what that is. Okay, starting off with a nice rookie on top, Eloy Jimenez. Very nice rookie right there. A scratch off, Trey Mancini. Huh. I don't know what this is. I'll look it up at the end of the video. <laughs> oh, huh. Very interesting. I have no idea what this is. Do a little research on this, see if this is actually a good pull. I don't know. Okay, interesting. Okay, we got another Christian Yelich. Award winners. Hank Aaron Award, Christian Yelich. Cool. Still looking for that Fernando Tatis. That's all I want. <laughs> Last pack of 2019 Topps Heritage High Number. Hopefully we can get a Tatis. Let's see. Let's get something good out of this last pack. Boom. Boom. Okay, we got a Padres rookie. The wrong one though. We got Pedro Avila. Relief pitcher. That's unfortunate. And then let's see what we got here. Now and then, pure quality of Jacob deGrom. 
Okay, here we go. We got a solid rookie right here. Nick Stenzel. It's a good one. He's a solid player right there. Brian Goodwin, Jesus Sucre, and Tyler O'Neill. Last card right there. So we didn't get any Tatises, unfortunately, but we got some good solid pulls. I'll take out the top five at the end of the video, and now let's get into 2020 Topps Heritage. Okay, now I got Topps 2020 Heritage. There's also 72 cards per pack, same configuration as the last box. So let's just crack it open, and hopefully we can get some good pulls. Okay, let's go. First pack right here. 2019 was pretty solid, so 2020 is going to have to do pretty good in order to beat that. Here's the design of 2020 Topps Heritage. Nice vintage design. Okay, let's get into the polls. Okay, there we go. We're already getting a Padre player, Francisco Mejia. Nice, he's a solid catcher. Don't know if he's going to be the starting catcher this year. He's going to have to battle it out with Austin Hedges, but good player right there. Oh, we got a former Padre, Hunter Renfro. Not on the team anymore. Uh, let's see, anybody else? That pack was terrible. Okay, so we're still without a rookie for through the first two packs. That's not a good sign. Okay, we got, he's not even on the team anymore. He's like working in the front office, Ian Kinsler. Interesting. Um, let's see. We need a rookie, we need a rookie. We got a World Series Celebration Washington Nationals. Cool little insert. Then and now, Joe Torre and Anthony Rondon. Now Rondon is an angel. Um, we got a lot of inserts in this pack. <laughs> National League Championship Series. Cool. And a Kenley Jansen. Another pack without a rookie. Cool. American League ERA leaders. Nice. Little insert. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got right here 2020 rookie stars for the Royals. Not too big names. Uh, we got a Manny Margot. Another former Padre. Not on the team anymore. And. We got a rookie stars for the Cubs. Also, no real big names on there. I mean, the season hasn't started yet, so we don't know if they're going to be good or not. We need some individual rookies. Okay, cool. Right here, we got a Malik Smith. Big fan of his. I uh, saw him play in the minor leagues, and he actually gave me his batting gloves. Signed batting gloves. So, always been a Malik Smith fan. Okay, we got two more packs after this one. Got another Christian Yelich, we're getting a lot of Christian Yelichs. We got a Jose Altuve insert, cool. And we got uh, New Age Performers, Pete Alonzo, that's a nice looking insert. Cool looking card right there. Okay, we got a um, 2020 Rookie Stars for the Dodgers, for some reason Gavin Lux is not on there. Interesting. And a Joey Votto. Okay, two packs left. Wow, we're getting all former Padres. <laughs> we got a Luis Arias. Also not on the team. It's weird how they're giving us only former Padres. And then we got a Juan Soto World Series insert. Not a bad insert right there. Down to the last pack. We don't have a single individual rookie. So, wish me luck. Hopefully, there's something solid in here. Oh, wow. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, that last pack was garbage. I'm not even going to talk about it. Okay, so the stack of good cards for that box was much smaller than the other one. I imagine 2019 is going to come away with the win, but I'm still going to calculate it out. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back, and I finished doing all the calculations for the top five cards from each box. So I'm gonna start off with 2019 Topps Heritage and I'm gonna show you the top five cards from the box. So coming in at number five, we got the Rookie Performers of Brendan Rogers. That was a total of $1.50 in value. 
Not terrible, a little bit more than I thought it would be. Coming in at number four, we got the Eloy Jimenez rookie. Coming in at a total of $3. Also pretty solid. Then we got the scratch off, which I found is like kind of like a game. And then that's gonna come in at a total of $3 as well. Number two, we got the Christian Yelich cloth card coming in at number two, and that's a price of $3 as well. So a lot of these are worth about $3. And at number one, probably no surprise, we got the Pete Alonzo rookie card coming in at a total of $5. So the total value of that box was $16.50. So we actually would definitely make our money back if we sold everything and everything sold. So pretty solid box for 2019. Let's get into 2020. Okay, so now for 2020 Tops Heritage, the top five cards here. We got first off the 2019 World Series celebration card for the Nationals. That was a total of one dollar. Nothing crazy there. Next, we got what is this one? This is the Game Six. Jose Altuve sends the Astros to the World Series. This one, total of 150, so not worth too much. Might as well just, you know, throw that one in the trash can. So next we got the Juan Soto Shines in World Series debut for a total of 150. Not too valuable as well. Then we got Then and Now of Joe Torre and Anthony Rendon. This one actually was a little bit more valuable than I thought it would be. Not too crazy still, but was a total of $2. And then the number one card, once again, boom. Pete Alonzo taking the number one card again in this box for a total of $2.50. So adding up the total of all these cards, the total came out to being $8.50. So we definitely didn't make our money back on Topps Heritage 2020. And you can pretty much tell which one is gonna be the winner. <laughs> okay, can we get a drum roll please? And your champion of the 2019 vs. 2020 MLB Heritage Blaster Box battle is... Yeah, we all knew it was going to be this one. 2019 takes the W, and it was not even really close. 2020 really did not deliver anything too good. 2019 gave me a group of solid rookies, kind of what I expected. So, 2019 takes the win in this episode of Making Money with Sports Cards. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Comment any other suggestions you have. Also, comment your favorite poll, and you never know, maybe I'll send it your way. Thank you guys for watching, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.